Hey guys, I'm out today in my garage, and I'm going to show you how to make a, it's kind of like a trot line, but it's got, you just post it in the ground and throw it out, and it's got four hooks and weights on it. All you need is one weight, but I have these little egg sinkers that aren't too heavy, so I use this instead of the one two ounce or three ounce weight. So I'm going to go ahead and get started here, and it's really simple. Let me just put my little camera up right here. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to start, I have the post and the I have 50 pound test line. And all you're going to do is take it and just wrap it all around the top of the post multiple times until it's wrapped enough to where you couldn't really pull it it's already nice and stuck so then you're just gonna tie it off with the extra line and you don't have to do any fancy knots because of how many times it's wrapped around it definitely will not come off so just like that. Now what I'm doing for this part is I'm just going to take my post. I'm just going to drop it right there behind that little bar so that way it's not going to go anywhere. So it won't drag it when I let all this line go. I'm just letting this line come out of this spool. I'm getting a nice length of line here and then I'm just gonna go grab my pliers and cut that and then I'm gonna start with the knots it's really simple just cut that walk it back over and then I'll put my phone camera right here again so I can show you what I'm doing I'm just going to feed the line through my two egg sinkers like this. Um, this one is not going through so easy. Try going through the other side. If, it, if you have egg sinkers, a lot of times if it won't go through one side of the egg sinker, it's big, it will go through the other. Normally that's not a problem, but if it is, just switch sides and you'll be able to get it through most likely. And I'm just going to tie this multiple times. There are some fancy knots you could do for this, but if you just tie it enough, it won't be a problem. Alright, grab my pliers and go ahead and cut that off. Now, I'm about 5 foot 7, so that means from arm to arm... It would be five feet seven inches so that so every five feet seven inches from the post that's about anything over five feet and under six feet would be good and that's every, the interval I'm going to be using to uh, space my hooks out so what I'm going to do at this point is I'm just going to go ahead and Toss that over there, and then I'm gonna grab my post. And five feet, and well, the interval I'm using, I'm just gonna do that from my post. And now we're gonna tie the first knot that the hook will go on to. To do that, you're just gonna grab the line, double it up like this, and then act as if this was one piece of string. And just tie an overhand knot twice. We'll do it one time, but make the loop go through the loop twice. So just loop it through that hole twice, and then pull it tight. And every 5 feet 7 inches, I'm going to do this.
I've now done four of those, so now my next step is to grab my hook, and I'm going to start putting those on, and I'm going to show you how to do that. You have to use the C hooks, and they've got this little curve going in, and that will make the catfish not swallow it, swallow the hook, and it will also keep the catfish on the hook. So to put the um, hook on the loop, you're going to take the loop and put it through the eye of the hook, pull it through, and then take the hook and put it through the loop and pull it nice and tight. And that's just about as simple as it can get to put the hook on. Let me make sure the camera's still going. Alright, I've had it stop before. I'm sorry. You just had to do that. Now I'm just going to go and do this for each of the loops real quick. And then I'll show you what you end up getting. Alright, now I'm just going to walk through and show you the catfish line real quick. Um, starting here would be the post, and you would post that in the ground. And I'm just going to note real quick that you don't have to use a post. You can tie it off to a tree, or there's, um, let me grab it real quick. You can get these things right here, tie it to this, and hook these right here. So like say if you wanted to put it on something like this, you could loop it through like that and then have it tied off like that if there was some sort of thing already at the lake to tie it off to. Or you could wrap it around a tree and loop it back onto the line, if you know what I'm saying. Like wrap it around, loop it onto the line. But, or you could just get these posts. Um, I ordered these online, and I forget where or how much. But they're just tent stakes. And then, about five feet from that, I have my first hook. Then, each five-some feet, I have another hook. Um, right there is my next one. And then, over here... And then down a little bit, I have my weights right there. And I only used a 50-pound monofilament line. This is fine for the lake I have it in, but some rivers and some areas have bigger catfish. Um, so you'd want to get a stronger line, maybe get a, um actual trot line line to make it with. But this is a really simple way to do it. And I'm going to come back with another video of me catching fish on these lines. Thanks for watching. Bye.